Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Doron Yowitz over at Alpha 7 Trading Academy uh, ready to do another simple trading concept to go over. So today I will go over on how to build a watch list and how to find some stocks during the day. So first thing you do on Thinkorswim, all the way to the bottom left, you're going to see a small little arrow. All right, If you click that, then a side ribbon will pop up. As you can see, you already have two watch lists. Now, if you want, you could already just edit this one. It may not save. So what you may want to do to create a, a whole new hot list is you click this plus sign. You click watch list. And then what we do here is we're going to click on this configuration button. So we go ahead and click it. We're going to go to personal. Uh, I'm sorry. We're going to go to... Uh, Create watch list. We're going to type in the name. So we'll call this uh, uh, day list. Okay? And then all you have to do is just start adding symbols. So you could do Facebook, CVX, uh, Google, Apple, um, DDD. Okay? Uh, you could keep going. And then what you do is you just click save. And here you go. Okay, and you could keep updating it as well. It saves. And if you want to detach it, you could detach it as well. And you could even pin it so that way it doesn't go in the back of the screen, which I do on my other monitor. I put it there. Okay. Now, with this being said, there's a few things you could do here with the watch list. It all depends what you want. I have symbol, last, net change, the current trend, bid and ask. Okay. Now, if you want, you can add other, um, other rows, okay? So, what we could see here is you could have in the money, 52-week high, 52-week lows. Uh, you could put in um, VWAPs and all different types of uh, information that you would want to have in your watch list. So, let's say I wanted to put... Um, I will put VWAP. Let's see if I can find VWAP. There it is. Okay. So if I add VWAP, I'll click Add Items. Click OK. And now I should have the VWAP right here. Okay. And if you want, you could even move it to a specific place. So I can move it up and have it right next to the symbol. And there we go. Okay. And this is how you develop a watch list on Thinkorswim. Now, just a tip. I have a couple watch lists. I'll give you a, a, a base where you start off with a hot list and you also start off with an earnings list. And every week you update the earnings list, okay? So if you go to Yahoo, you could just type in Yahoo earnings, Yahoo earnings. Okay, if we type Yahoo earnings, we'll pull it up here. Okay, and we'll be able to see next week's. Then what I do is I don't put all of them in there. I only put the popular ones. So I look for something that uh, we are all aware of and uh, know the, these companies. Uh, you also want to look for something that has high expectations. Or... So let's see. CYC is a good one. Okay, It's a pharmaceutical. It may move well. All right. Uh, and then you have two of them. So you know when the earnings are coming out. You already have them in your watch list. You're already prepared for the earnings list. Okay. Then for the regular hot list, the daily list, um, the way to find them is I do a couple things. First, uh, I'll go through my favorites. Okay. Google, Apple, CVX, USO, Facebook, DDD, Guild. Uh, I could keep going. <laughs> but then... You shouldn't stop there. You should always continue to add to your watch list. And the way to do that is plenty of ways. If you're in a chat room or if you're in our chat room, uh, every time you see a play that happens, if you like the way the stock moves and you like the way the setup occurred and you see it continuing with that fashion, maybe that's something you want to continue to put in your daily list because it may react like that for the next two weeks to a month or so. So it's good to take advantage of that run for that stock. So what I usually do is in the morning, I'll go for major news. I'll see if there's anything I don't have. 
and check it out. If I see it's interesting, I'll put it in my watch list right away. Okay? And then maybe once a month, you go back into your watch list and you remove things that are going sideways and aren't moving anymore. Or you could create another watch list uh, where you put all the old stocks that aren't currently moving and put them aside and then whenever you look at them and they're coming back alive, you could put them right back into the most active hot list uh, watch list you have. Okay? The other way, the other thing you could do is go to uh, Stock Twits. Just see what's trending here. And that should really give you enough for the current day to be able to add more to your watch list, uh, continue to look to your watch list, add the earnings watch list. This in itself, if you, if you develop a very good uh, a habit of this, then you will see uh, much more probability, uh, much greater probability in your trades because you're almost done with half the battle. The other part of the battle that uh, is part of the half is doing your homework at night and looking for food for the next day, uh, which we do go over in our education. But for now, I just wanted to go over how to build a watch list on Thinkorswim. All right. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, please shoot me an email or comment on YouTube or the video. And enjoy your day. Thank you for watching.